This is Uma Makeshwari welcoming you to the session on report writing. In this session, I am going to help you to learn the format of writing a report. I will be stating the format of report. I will be also explaining each subtitle of the report along with the worked out sample to facilitate easy and complete understanding of the format. I always believe that learning of any topic begins with the ability to define the topic. So if you are set to learn report writing, you should start with knowing what a report is. A report is an official document prepared after examining a particular situation or problem. From the definition of report, you could understand the significant role that reports play in an organization. And as future engineers, you should acquire skills of writing a report in proper format. Based on the nature of examination, and presentation reports are classified into several types. To mention a few types, there are progress reports, survey reports, investigative reports, and feasibility reports. And progress report traces the progress of a project. Survey report summarizes the existing studies in an organized manner. And an investigative report investigates the factors that led to a situation. And a feasibility report assesses the practicality of a proposed project. Format of the report. Writing of any official document will, ha will be having a format. Report writing too has a format to follow. At this point, I would like to bring in the difference between formats of reports prepared in real life and reports written in pen paper tests. The format of reports prepared in real life situations is stated in the left hand side. In pen paper set scenario, certain subtitles of the report writing could be skipped. I could explain this. The format of the report in real life situations include cover page and title page. The both will have the same content that is the details about the name of the report and the people who prepared the report and date of submission. The difference between this cover a page and title page is the texture of the paper. So the cover page will have a thicker paper texture and the title page will have a normal paper. And the third subtitle of, of the report writing is contents where you would be having the topic and the corresponding page number where the title or the subtitle could be found out. And then comes the acknowledgement where the report writer would be thanking the people and the agencies that helped him in preparing the report. And background sets the overall scenario of the uh, event or a project and the purpose states the direct um, objective of the report. Terms of reference includes the people, details of the people who asked to prepare the report and the people who prepared the report and it also includes the date of submission. Work done explains the methodology of getting the information, findings, that whatever things that are found based on the work done, it comes in findings and the final recommendations and conclusion. Note of dissent comes after recommendations, which means uh, a disagreement, any disagreement from any party or source or organization with regard to the report has to be mentioned in note of dissent. And appendix is a collection of material that helped in the preparation of the report. It, For example, it could be a questionnaire that is used to, to collect information. So the documents that were helpful in the preparation of the report but are not that important to be included in the main report are, are, are represented in appendix. This is the format of a report in real life situation. Now we come to pen paper test scenario. When a student is expected to write a report in an examination, the certain titles like cover page, could, and uh, contents, acknowledgement and appendix could be skipped. Because why cover page is skipped? Because it is a repetition. To, uh, the same details are given twice in cover page and title page. And examination point of view, that repetition is not required. And also the content and acknowledgement and appendix has got no relevance in examination scenario, so could be skipped. 
So this is the format, the difference between the format in real life situations and format of a report in pen paper test. So now we will go to the each subtitle of a report. To explain this, as I said earlier in the previous slide, a sample question is given and the question goes like this. Assume yourself as the marketing executive Honda India. Prepare a feasibility report to be submitted to a CEO Honda Motors on the launching of solar panel support eco-friendly bike into Indian market. So we have to prepare a report for this question and we could start with the title page and the title page contains the details about the name of the report and also the details of the person who directed to prepare the report and the person who really prepared the report. The details include name, designation and organization. The title page also would include the date of submission. So all these details to be written in the center of the page. Uh, as you could see in the purple color font, the worked out sample to the question given above, you could see the name of the report is written in the center and the information I got is, is taken from the question itself. So, and below that we could see submitted to the person name and designation and organization and submitted by a name of a person designation and organization given and below it is the date of submission. After writing the title page comes the background and then followed by purpose. The background provides the scenario or the situation that led to the situation examined in the report and that gives an overall picture of the, the situation and purpose relates the objective of the preparation of report. Um, this could be better understood when you check out this purple colored font passage where a worked out sample is given, a background to the launching of eco-friendly bike in Indian market is written. So the background sets the overall scenario of uh, the challenges faced in by the automobile industry with the traditional fuel sources and the emergence of uh, alternative sources and new technologies and, and the profitability of capturing Indian market is also set as a background. So in this background, uh, a report is prepared and the purpose states the direct objective of the report that is to check the feasibility of launching solar panel support bike into Indian market. After the background and purpose comes the terms of reference and in the terms of reference details about the person who asked to prepare the report and the person who prepared the report is given and also the date of submission. I followed by, after this terms of reference comes work done which, which, which includes the information or the methodology that is followed to collect the information and that methodology is represented in the form of bullet points and the tense to be used to write a work done is past tense and impersonal passive could be used wherever required. If you check the worked out sample, you could understand how this terms of reference is written and also work done. You could see it, the work done in bullet points and past tense is used and also impersonal passive wherever required is used. So through this methodology, the report writer has collected information to check the feasibility of launching the product, that is launching that uh, solar support, panel supported eco bike. So these are a survey as conducted, he made an analysis to get the information, everything written in past tense and impersonal passive form. After writing the work done, the methodology of getting information comes findings. Findings tell the explains or states the reasons of factors that are found and that could be responsible for a situation and it has to be written in bullet points. You could check the worked out sample. The findings of the work done regarding the launching of bike is written there for your easy understanding. You could see the beginning of findings starts like after a thorough investigation, 
the following observations are made. So you could begin with it is found that. So whatever finding that a report writer gets by following a certain methodology by collecting information could be stated in bullet points under the subtitle findings. After the findings comes the recommendation. So in recommendation, the points that are to be followed to make a situation better is stated. And the brief mention about a choice of words and recommendation could be helpful to you. There are There is an option of using must be. Also, there is an option of using can be or may be when you recommend something. As it could be easily understood, must be is used to indicate the compulsion of following the recommendation. Example is given, the machines must be popularly serviced, or sorry, machines must be properly serviced and maintained to avoid accidents in the future. Can be or may be is used to stress the necessity of following the recommendation, but it is leaving to the discernment of the people concerned whether to follow it or not. Example, counseling can be provided to parents in not allowing 